Hey yo, I want to level with you guys. I used to wake up every morning, check my phone, and hated my life. No views, no subscribers, and most importantly, no money. But imagine this. I changed one simple thing about my videos and started seeing literal overnight success. I reached out to help other people and they blew up using this exact same method I'm going to show you today. 10k subs, 12k views minimum. And guess what? The secret is the video topic. But how the f*** do we improve it? Come here and let me show you. My first method is called playing the lottery. It's because YouTube is essentially based on skillful luck. Now, before you kill me in the comments, no, you still need to try in order to blow up, but each video boosts your odds of doing that. And each video is kind of like a lottery ticket, so you just can't have one. Try everything and anything until you find something that works. And remember to not put too much into one project because your videos will fail, but that is okay. You aren't here to make a five-star best-selling movie. You ever hear about the acronym KISS? It means Keep it simple, stupid, and that's your mission. Literally just pump out consistent quality and you will see results. I tend to compile my video ideas into like literally one big notebook and execute on the best ones, like this video for example. So whenever I need another video, I'm not sitting around paralyzing myself with useless analysis. I know this works because two of my best performing videos happened just like that. They were just random ideas that I found in the YMCA steam room and they blew up. But I'm done yapping so let me show you the second method. So this is what I call the spin method. Obviously because we're putting a spin on things. Let me just say this, everyone hates generic content. I'm telling you right now. If I could, I would literally poke my eyes out before watching another Minecraft Let's Play or another video about someone that I literally do not care about. I'm telling you this is a message from the universe telling you to stop right now and listen up. Take out a pen and paper or open up a text file, go on YouTube and start scrolling your niche. Take notice of all the things that they have in common. And now your goal is to break the mold. If someone says XYZ is good, you say it's bad. Boom, instant views. And here's my next secret. If you're in the business of making money, your real goal is to literally just solve someone's problem. So diagnose your viewers issues like a doctor and you'll get paid like one. There's plenty of people who don't think this way and that's why they'll never sell a product and that's why they'll never make good substantial money on the platform, which is extremely easy to do if you just listen the fuck up to me. So since we're doom scrolling YouTube channels, it's time to use the stalking method. This time I'm not breaking into your house at 3 a.m., but I'm just sneakily observing what other big channels do and copy the trend. And I can already hear the comments saying, stealing content is illegal under Copyright Act Title 17. Listen, you read books for knowledge and you watch videos for knowledge too. And the only way to keep yourself relevant in the digital age is literally just by plugging in and learning. Only then you can understand your niche to its core and provide any sort of value or nuance. Only then where you can break through and actually start getting views. You'd be shocked at how many creators make dead content. And by dead content, I mean shit that no one sees because they don't want to because YouTube is a compromise between yourself and the viewer. Just think about the Mona Lisa. It was painted for money, not because Da Vinci loved art. Don't be that guy who posts nonsense and gets zero views just because you like it. Trust me. Here's the big problem. Your topic might be good, but your packaging sucks. Your thumbnail and title is trash, and that's one of the most important parts. So before you edit 5,000 years worth of Call of Duty sniper shots, it's time to reconsider your branding. Yes branding, how you come off to an average person, how you come off to someone that does not know any single thing about you. You need to consider the following. What are you more likely to buy? A Windows phone or an iPhone? It's a true question because the Microsoft phone went out of business. Why? Because of garbage branding. No one cared about the Microsoft phone. Everyone cares about the iPhone, all because of packaging and branding. I've seen so much amazing content go to waste simply because of the packaging. Some of the craziest edits getting 10 views because of messy titles and thumbnails. Thankfully, these are the skills that are easy to learn, so I've helped many people get results with one or two sessions. Link in the description if you're smart. If your video's flatlined in views or never got them at all, you know where the problem lies. Boot up Photoshop and get your ass to work. Last but not least are two unsavory truths that you're probably not gonna want to hear. You will never improve your packaging and video ideas unless you get these. Live by these commandments. Number one is that there is no new ideas, just variations. So you don't need to be one of one, just unique. And if your goal is success, get on YouTube and take it because there's no style points in this business. Number two, your topic may be on trend, 
but it's boring. No amount of good marketing will fix that. So don't overcompensate and find something new to talk about instead of wasting your goddamn time. You thought I was finished. I got one last trick up my sleeve for getting more views on YouTube. You gotta understand that I've grown this channel to almost 10k subs in four months, and I also grew a lot of super cool channels I work with. But the final point that you need to get through your head is that trying too hard will completely mess everything up. So you gotta do this instead of overthinking. Write down your main thoughts about your niche. It doesn't have to be problems. You just sit down in a quiet room, no phone, no distractions, just you and solitude and write down every single little thing that comes to mind. Something is bound to come up. All the most talented artists on earth had their best ideas come up simply because they were bored. So turn off your dopamine addicted brain and just start getting bored is the best thing you can do for yourself. If you're a cool channel, do yourself the biggest favor of your YouTube career and check out Winners Club. Peace. It actually took me a while to decide to join Winners Club, but once I did, I did not regret it at all. I've been working with Money Maxing for quite some time now, and since I started, every video that I uploaded was a one of 10. All of them got way more views than usual, and I made my first few sales on an online business that I made on his recommendation. And I have proof, look at this. Overall, I got knowledge to make better thumbnails, better videos, and just overall be a better YouTuber. If you're someone who wants to succeed at YouTube, it seems logical to invest in yourself. And Winners Club is, in my experience, the best place for that. Mr. Money Maxing does know what he's doing, he does practice what he preaches, and he's just overall a very respectful guy. So if you're having a dilemma over this, I would say go for it. The value in this is insane, the ROI is definitely worth it, so you don't have that much to lose.